Welcome to SlideShare, which is located at slideshare.net. And this tool is really good for finding really good presentations that have already been made and uploaded to the site. Uh, when you create an account, you can upload your own presentations, you can embed them, um, and it's also a good way to do alternative research. So it's a pretty neat site. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you uh, kind of a couple things while, as we get started. First thing, before we create an account, I want to show you a little bit about how to search for presentations. One thing that's really cool about SlideShare is there's a bunch of these presentations that are already created that you can download and use for yourself. Uh, so for example, I'm just going to put in the Civil War here, and I'm going to show you how to uh, search for these. Now if you just put in a topic, Civil War or something like that, you're going to get a bunch of different presentations. These are all PowerPoint files. But what you really want to do here is come, on, come under search options. Here's where you can really delineate what you want. So the first thing that I always choose is something that's downloadable, something I can grab and take for myself. Uh, in addition to that, you want to change up, and let's say I want to do Civil War. I want to put that as an exact phrase. And then you can say, oh, let's just say slavery. That will narrow down your results. All right, and once you see the results, I'm just going to go ahead and click on one just to show you what it looks like. It brings up the actual PowerPoint, and you can click through it, see if it's one that you want to use. If it is, you can download it once you have an account, and you can favorite it, and you can do all kinds of things. So it's a good way to just have your students do some alternative research. All right, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get started. It's real simple. You're just going to come up to the top and click on sign up. It's going to ask you username, password, email address, you know, same old, same old. Send me the SlideShare newsletter. No, thank you. Now, I have already signed up, and all it does is send you an email, just like most things. Uh, it looks like this. Confirm your email address. You click it, and then you can log in. I'm just going to go ahead and log in with the one I've already set up. What it does is it takes you to your profile page. And your profile page um, has a news feed here, which is a new feature, kind of showing you some things that you might be interested in. You can look at your public profile, your uploads, favorites, account settings, and all that. One thing I do want to make sure I show you is how to change your profile. If you come up here, click on my public profile. That's where you can see your actual profile. And if you go down here, you come down to edit profile, you can add your name, uh, gender, about you, website and blog. It's a good way to kind of connect with people that uh, want to look at your presentations. You can also change your pictures. You can come here and write, take a look at whatever uploads you've done. And all this stuff is under your profile. One last thing I want to show you is, I just want to show you real quick, is that it's also got kind of a Facebook kind of feel to it. So if you've, got a, if you've got an account here, you can post on your wall, you can private message, you can make friends with other people that you like their presentations. So like most sites now, it's got a social bookmarking, a social media aspect to it. So I can tell them what's on my mind. All right, so we've uh, created our profile. We've kind of seen a little bit about how to do some advanced searching in SlideShare. In the next video in the basics, we're going to talk a little bit about how to actually upload some files, how to find some presentations, how to download them, and uh, comment, on, comment on them and go from there. Mm -hmm.